My name is Louis St. Louis. I'm from America. I grew up in a little small-ass town called Wadesboro, North Carolina, down the North Carolina-South Carolina border, about 3,000 folks. There was nothing there to speak of other than a church, but I grew up with a set of 1935 standard encyclopedias, and that's where I learned about the world. And my house sat on Highway 74, and I would be out in my front yard, and I'd watch all these cars going back and forth, I thought, those cars are going someplace exciting. And someday, maybe, if I'm lucky, I might grow up to be a chauffeur and drive people around. They're going to exciting places. So that was my real dream. I fall in love with the face. I try to capture the face. I try to manipulate the face. And then I do it in a computer. You know, I take my own photographs for the most part. But I manipulate it in the computer and then print it on either canvas or mylar, or I'll do a transfer print. I have uh, uh, you know, a huge respect for Warhol. He's cast a long shadow over my artistic career. He had a great graphic sense, and he had a great sense of putting things together, and a great imagination, and a great way of, of viewing the world as more than it was at the time. And so, you know, as, a, as a child growing up, seeing these images of him going to parties, seeing him going to museum openings, seeing his beautiful, the first artwork that I really saw that I fell in love with was at the Hirschhorn Museum and Sculpture Garden in, in Washington, D.C., where I was in front of his Marilyn Monroe's lips 124 times, and I was ready to die. I said, I have met my artistic nirvana, it's perfect, it's wonderful. I was ready to like pass out and, and faint and, and die in front of artwork.